Oh, hey there, I didn't see you. I'm just uh, camping out here at Huntsville State Park. Uh, you want me to show you around? Yeah, sure, let's do it. I got my whole shoe closet. My Amazon day pack, tripod. Kumo 36. And the new lodge pan. Hopefully I'll be making some tamales. Supposed to rain a lot, possibly. I mean, it's been raining a lot already, and it's extremely cloudy. But I got the Frog Togs Ultra Light rain pants and rain jacket there. Some cheap poncho. My uh, Marmot Precip rain jacket, and some know, water shoes because it's nice to hang out at camp when it's raining and something like water shoes. Random burnt log that's like 25 feet away from the fire pit. Concrete picnic tables. This video is brought to you by Bug Spray. Nice fire ring with grill grate. Uh, people before me thought it was a good idea to uh, burn their glass beer bottles. Don't do that, people. Uh, people don't want to like you're not even supposed to have glass here. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, don't bring glass to state parks and especially don't burn them in the fire pit. Thank you. So I'll be in the North Face Storm Break 2 tonight. It's a pretty awesome tent. I use it mainly for car camping when I'm just out by myself. Got the guy lines out in case it gets a little bit stormy. Hopefully we don't have any issues, but it was stormy last night and it was stormy on the way here. So we'll see. I'll show you on the inside as to ways that I tried to mitigate that, but it's mostly a, a waterproof tent. Uh, but I'll show you what's up. All right, so I put my entrance on this side because it's grassier. And I have this cool little $10 boot tray that I got from Target. I just put that at the entrance of my tent and you can also see I have like a, a lining in there on the floor and so I've noticed with this tent it's mostly waterproof on the top but not so much on the on the floor and water kind of seeps up through there and gets the bottom of my pad wet and so I took like a plastic drop cloth and it was perfect size to like double layer it and then I just cut it once and that's what's on my floor um, and then I got the 12 inch fan there, uh, battery operated because I'm not in an electric site. And then I'm sleeping on Academy self inflating pad, a C to Summit pad because I'm going like full luxury this time except I got a pillow so I'll be using like a towel or something like that. Pretty awesome. And uh, REI sleeping bag rated for like 40 degrees which is overkill but as you can see, I got like a sheet there. That's all I need. I just sleep with that. Alright, so that's kind of the setup. That's the view I have of Lake Raven. I've already seen like 15 woodpeckers, and like a million gnats. Hey guys, so I'm gonna try something new tonight. Uh, I'm gonna do a Mexican dinner while out camping. Uh, I got some Nor uh, Mexican rice, so that should be pretty easy to put together. And then I'm gonna uh, steam some tamales over the campfire, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I got a, an eight inch lodge cast iron pan here, and I just stuck a, uh, like a small tong in it and put about a half inch of water down in the bottom of it. 
I uh, poked a whole bunch of holes in some aluminum foil. I'm gonna put my tamales in that, wrap it up, throw it on the fire, and I uh, bet this is gonna be pretty dang delicious and probably one of the better meals that I've had out camping. So it wasn't the plan to sleep for 12 hours last night, but that's pretty much what happened. Uh, went to bed probably around 11.30 and woke up at six and went to the bathroom and was like, oh, it still hasn't rained. Maybe I can start hiking now. And then it started raining then and thought I'd lay back down for another hour or two. And uh, it Apparently the rain was sounded really nice on my tent. I slept for four hours <laughs> And so now it's like 1 p.m. And finally you're gonna get around to doing some hiking. I'm sure the trails are plenty wet, but hopefully I don't tear them up too bad And I'm gonna be trying to do the chinkapin loop Chink, Chinkapin, chink, chinkwapin, whatever it's called uh, It's like a six seven mile loop that goes around Lake Raven out here so looking forward to that and uh, hopefully I'll be on the trail very soon. <laughs> I'm just hiking along, hiking along, hear a noise above me, look up, and a giant branch breaks and lands on the trail pretty much right next to me, kind of in front of me, so that's part of it. It probably wouldn't feel good falling from like, I fell from like 25 feet up, there's that, that fell, it's actually one big branch and then it broke to a bunch of pieces so <laughs> I guess when you hear a loud noise above you here don't expect an owl like I did just kind of <laughs> duck and cover
high arc here. I got so lucky. Uh, last 50 yards of that hike, it just started pouring. So I was able to run all the way back to my car, and jump in before getting soaking wet. And then I tried to film this little shot saying that I just missed the rain and my battery died. So I'd say that's kind of like perfect timing. Just barely missed the rain and my battery had just enough life to do that hike and get all my shots. So now I'm just chilling here by the lake, Lake Raven, having some Fritos and hummus. Pretty delicious. And uh, I was hoping to get maybe a time lapse of the suns uh, sunset, but uh, <laughs> it's just way too cloudy and it wouldn't be very interesting. So. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll turn into something, but you know, I'm pretty content right now. <laughs> uh, just, just chilling, just hanging out. 